sunshine today. be the only way you can hear me as, I, as I'm talking. Remember I said, I'm going to come up here and blah, 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 blah. You guys just have to be patient. Okay? Okay. So this year I decided to bring all the kids up, um, preschool and kindergarten. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because I'm not sure how long um, we can sit. Okay? All right. So... Just like, it's like being a comedian all the time. No matter what I say, it's hilarious, right? Okay, so I'm going to start by setting up an equation for you, for moms and dads, not for you guys, okay? So, okay, see if you can give me the answer. All right, that's, that's good, guys. Change 
plus struggle times perseverance equals 10. She gets the gold star. It equals growth. That's what it equals, okay. Graduation is a celebration of your child's growth. Remember back to the first day of school when there were so many new changes and you weren't sure your child could handle them, let alone you yourself pretending to handle them? Leaving a parent is a big change, even though it's only a few hours, and that created growth and independence in your child. Struggling to use scissors and making our hands do something new was a hard change. There were many groans and a lot of I can't do it, and yet our muscles grew stronger. Adding new symbols to our brain in the shape of letters and numbers created growth. Learning to work as a team and listen to others' opinions about how to play created growth in our character. Without change in our lives, there is no growth. This year, the preschool is changing. Precious Moments has been a part of this church for 50 years, started by member Mrs. Betty Elliott. There's been change through ownership, teachers, and methods of teaching throughout the years. I have been fortunate enough to teach here for 13 years. Precious Moments has allowed me to be on my own children's schedule, to love and to teach your children, and create my own style of teaching that I believe resonates with the community. The little classroom in the corner of the church basement has been an educational starting point for so many of this community, including many of you. And this is where I knew I would get it. <laughs> Tonight, the door will close for the last time on that little classroom of smiles and laughter and a love of learning. Seeing the end of precious moments is a change and it's been a struggle. But with perseverance, there is a new growth at Nam Nam's Community Preschool. So the last preschoolers here will be the first graduates of the class of 2020 at Nam Nam's Community Preschool. And tonight, we want to celebrate the legacy of precious moments and the future of your children. So, not bad. <laughs> Let's begin with the preschoolers who will be moving to Napnas Community Preschool in the pre-K class, and also those moving on to the other preschools. So if I could have you guys go back and sit down. Selena, can you go sit down? Carrie, can you go sit down? Remember I told you I was gonna like call y'all up and you had to stand here, remember? Oh my gosh, I wondered where you went. She's sitting in the middle. First of all, before I do this, I wanna thank Deb. The videos that she does, she does all of that. She's like my right arm. Um, today was the last day I called her to see if I could go to the bathroom. I mean, she is like everything. So um, I just wanna say thank you. Um, now, let's start with Owen Bright. Grayson, are you okay? Okay, now you're gonna stand right here. Okay, Addison Cobb. Jade is not here. Aurora Hallie. It sounds like Callie, but it was Aurora Hallie. Charlie's not here. Stay there, Callie. You're fine. Claire Hill. Madison Kyle. Turn around a little bit. Here, Madison. Turn around. Be careful. Brianna McMurtry. In practice, this went so much smoother. Liam Pittman. Come on, bud, all the way up. K 
Carrie Plummer. Callie Prather. Grayson Tolls. And Ivan Von Dalen. So here is your 2020 class for um, Nap Naz, and then a couple of them are going to other preschools. So. All right. Now you guys can all go sit down. Now our graduates. Okay, remember when we practiced and I said I was going to give you something? You remember? Cool. You like it? Okay. All right. Now, for the students that will be going to kindergarten and beginner garden, um, each year I try to find a word to describe your child in one word, um, some sort of a character trait for them. Um, some of them I've had for a couple of years, and I've also known them from um, siblings and things. So this does get kind of hard, because I won't get to see them again. So, <laughs> um, Are you ready? You guys ready? OK. Mr. Weston. Weston is a leader. He is a leader. He is really good at gathering a group. You want to come step up here? At gathering a group and creating games. He's the one that started our, um, oh, what was that, on the balance beam? What were you doing? Rock, paper, scissors to see who had to get off the balance beam? And you beat everybody? Yeah. OK. Uh, next is, well, when you make up the game, um, Evelyn Cobb, and as you can see right there, Joy, that is hers, um, always, just always, just joyful, happy to be doing whatever it is she's doing, so that is Evelyn. Um, Leia, Leia has two, because I've known Leia for two years, um, she goes from really reserved to super joyful. There's like no in between. It's really reserved or super joyful. So that is her words, reserved to joy. Um, Evan. Evan is very curious. Um, always asking questions and, and very observant of whatever is happening around him. Um, he, he's, he's a smart one. You're a smart one. Um, Jacob. There you go. Wait, Jake. This is so cool. Jake is a thinker. I got to watch Jake this year like something just clicked. He had been, like, he could care less about anything, and then all of a sudden, numbers, letters, everything just started pouring out of him. And he's a thinker, and he likes to tell stories about animals, so I have a feeling a zoologist. Um, Audra, you want to come up? Oh, yay! Audra and Mom! And Ava! Okay. That's okay. Ava tried to stay at school yesterday. So, have a seat. Yeah. You got it? Okay. All right. So, and it's kind of interesting. Audra is determined. Determined to sit with mom tonight. But she is a determined little person. Um, she will figure out how to, how to make something work. Um, Meredith. There you go. Meredith is a caretaker. Um, she makes sure everyone has what they need and, and doing what they're supposed to. And then, like, she'll clean up behind everybody, too. She's just like a little, little homemaker. She's a caretaker. Um, Selena. Woo! 
I'm going to move this out of the way because I know what's going to happen. Okay. Selena is very creative from, from day one, but not only creative in, in an artistic way, her language is very creative, as well as making up games and, and having everyone um, be a part of the games. It's, it's just really, really cool. Um, so now, get your cameras ready. I'm going to move. You guys got it? You know what I'm, you know I'm going to say? OK. I'm going to come down here. And when I say one, you better have your camera ready. I don't know. We'll, they'd probably want to do it again. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Wait, <laughs> go get your hat. We got to make it good. Um, their names are on the inside of their hat, so if they pick up someone else's, that's, that's fine. OK, are you ready? Are you ready? Ready? OK, be careful with your trophy. Three, two, one. <laughs> if I talk any more, then I will be just a blubber. So um, I just want to thank you all for choosing Precious Moments and choosing me to teach. Um, and I look forward to next year and seeing everybody again over at NAPNAS. So um, we're going to go downstairs and have treats. And there are pictures down there of the graduates, and you're welcome to take those. There's also a little goodie bag for each one of the kiddos down there, and lots of cookies and juice. Are you ready? OK. Can you guys say bye? Bye.
I'm not going to